What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I have another unboxing for you. Um, this one is actually a request from a viewer from Nicholas, so thanks for that. Um, this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 2012 series. This is the complete series DVD set that was released a few months ago. Um, it's So this entire series... Unlike the 2003 series, where when it was airing, they released a ton of random volumes and it was all messed up and it was like impossible to collect the whole series. Unlike that, the 2012 series, Nickelodeon released these sequentially in volumes that had one to two DVDs each in order, and they released every episode from the first one to the last one, so... Um, the, uh, you can, you can get this entire set in individual volumes as well. So it's very much unlike the 2003 one, which actually just came out with a complete collection DVD. This one, nearly impossible to collect all these volumes. Actually, it is impossible because <laughs> at least one or two of the seasons were never officially released in the U.S. at least. And a bunch of episodes were missing, mixed up, and super out of print. So, unlike the 2003 one, the 2012 one did get consistent releases sort of as the series was airing. And by the end, you could buy every single episode on DVD in a sequential series of volumes. So, um, this one is not quite as, like, doesn't have a, as much rare or sought-after material as the 2003 one. Um, but if you want to add this to your Turtles collection, you just want to make one, uh, one little purchase and just have everything in one box, this is the way to go. Um, so, yeah, this, it, obviously it takes up significantly less space than the, like, 20 volumes you'd have to collect, um, of the individual DVDs to make this up. So, I just wanted to kind of show you with the packaging, what's inside here, um, so you, just so you can get an idea of what the um what the 2012 series release looks like here and at the end i'll sort of compare it to the 2003 box set uh or uh, collection that just came out so you can sort of see how they look together and side by side and all that good stuff so here is the artwork again featuring the turtles not much to complain about there uh change me Ninja shows the complete series it isn't kind of a translucent thick uh, DVD holder case here. Here is the Spine Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the complete series, right there. Here is the back with the UPC, some info, some more graphics here. So these are um, in widescreen format on over 20 discs. And they are in um, Dolby Digital 5.1. So there you go. Uh, with uh, subtitles as well. So, yeah, um, a little bit over 2,800 minutes total there. Um, yeah. And it, it does say it's Region 1 right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. So just be careful opening it up. It is kind of a tight case here. So it's a little bit different packaging than um, the 2003 set that just came out. These discs holders are actually attached to the case. So um, in the 2003 release, it's basically just an outer case, but this whole thing, just you can just lift it up out of the case here. Um, for the 2012 one, it has a slightly different um, disc holder design where these uh, are actually kind of clipped on to the case, so they are sort of attached. Um, and as you notice, as, you, as I kind of flip through these here, and let me just make sure, yeah. So basically, as you can see, they have these sort of volume titles. So um, for each like one or two disc volume for the series that they released, they each one had kind of a title based on sort of like the theme of those episodes or the story arc that was happening in those episodes. 
So this is like Ultimate Showdown. This is Mutagen Mayhem, which was a one disc one. Then Showdown and Dimension X. That's one and two discs. And this is two discs. And disc one, disc two. So what you are seeing here is they literally just took the DVDs from the individual releases. They took the literal actual DVDs exactly how they are in the individual releases with the volume names and everything on them and they put them all in one box so that's what you're getting here is you're, you're getting the whole series but you're literally not getting anything different than if you just collect all the individual volumes because they legit just took all those discs with the same labeling and whatever and they just put them all in one box for you <laughs> pretty much what happened which is totally fine you know, the original volume discs were perfect. There was nothing wrong with them. They were in order. They came out in order. They didn't skip anything. Um, there's no missing content from them. Some of them even have a couple extras and things like that um, that are in the disc. So, yeah. Um, yeah, th no problem with this at all. I'm just letting you know that if you collect all the individual DVDs for the series, if you have them all already... There's no additional discs in here beyond what you already have. And these are the exact same. They're not re-encoded, re-transferred, remastered in any way beyond um, the individual releases. These are the, those exact discs. Just instead of in, you know, 15 different uh, <laughs> cases, DVD cases with different artwork and stuff, they're all just in one big case. And much more cost-effective, too. If you don't own any of the individual releases and you want to collect the series, I mean, this is obviously the most uh, cost-effective way to do it because it's not that much um, and takes up very little space on your shelf. So as you can see here, and I'll just kind of show you, but each of these spindles here holds multiple discs. So like this one, for example, has two discs on it. So Beyond the Known Universe Disc 1, Beyond the Known Universe Disc 2. So, and then the one below it just has one. So, it's basically like that for the entire pack. Um, most of the spindles here have two discs on them. There's kind of an odd number of discs, so they sort of alternate sometimes. But um, most of the spindles have one to two discs on them. And even there's a couple of um, spindles here that are actually like on the case itself. So if you see, so see there's two right there. And then there's two up here as well. Like that. So also if you see one kind of nice feature of this release is that they have the disc numbers and the episode titles on them, which is really cool. Um, they have that for all the discs. The other one is on the, the other side. So that is definitely kind of cool. Um, let me just put this back here. To be a little bit careful because of the way that these discs are arranged about how to put them in and put them back to make sure that you kind of get them in the right spot. Because uh, they kind of really only overlap one direction. And you have to be careful to close both of these flaps to the side before you close the box. Because the box will not move when one of these flaps is open. So you have to basically lock back these flaps before you can close the box. So it's nice that they have the, um, the episode counts there. Because, and just comparing it to the 2003 set that came out recently... Um, Nothing inside. So this one it at least has some inner artwork and it has the um, titles and which discs they're on, which is pretty cool. They're really hard to see though. Um, so it's like almost a moot point because they're covered by discs. You have to take all four of these DVDs out before you can even see the list. So it's not just like if you're looking through it, you'll be able to see it. Same thing with the back as well. Also covered by discs. So you do have to like move some discs out of the way to see it. So that's a little bit of a downside, but it does have some art inside. It does have the titles. 2003 set does not, but 
this set does tell you which episode numbers are on which disc, which is actually kind of nice because this one does not tell you that. <laughs> so if we look at this, this just says Beyond the Known Universe, disc one. Like, okay, you know, what? which episode numbers are on here? If I am looking online or something and somebody brings up something about episode, you know, 108, and I want to go at watch episode 108, I have no clue what disc that's on. It's not listed on here. This just lists the titles. Maybe you can find it by title, of course. Um, but, like, if you have the episode number and you want to go watch a particular episode, um, you have to kind of do some searching to find it. Um, at least if you have the episode number for the 2003 set, you know exactly what disc it is in. You, It's on. You can just pop it in and watch it. This one, you get the volume names, which are somewhat vague. Don't really describe specifically which episodes are on which discs. So, a um, little bit... Honestly, it's kind of like six of one, half a dozen of the other, you know? A um, little bit of advantage here, and a little bit of advantage for having the disc number on the, the uh, DVDs themselves. So, just kind of two different ways to do it. You still get at least a little bit of guidance about what's on what, so that's good. <laughs> um, but yeah... Um, these are all pretty pretty good quality. You know, 2012 is pretty recent compared to the 2003 um, show, or obviously the original 80s show. So um, 2012 is not that long ago. This is totally um, computer animated. So a little bit different sort of uh, aspects to the looks of the show versus the hand animated 2003 and the original um, 80 series. Um, but it, it holds up pretty well. Um, it is in widescreen, which is cool. That's nice. Um, there are some HD versions of the episodes that are out there um, that you can watch like digitally and stuff like that. It would have been nice if we got those on you know, if we got this on Blu-ray instead, since I'm pretty sure HD versions of the whole series exist online. So, it would have been nice, but I get it. It costs more. It would limit the audience more who would could buy it and that sort of thing. So, um, this still looks pretty good um, on your, you know, big 4K TV or whatever. Um, maybe, you know, a little bit less sharp or whatever than the, uh, than the HD streaming version. But... If you want to add it to your collection, this is definitely the best way to do it. So just to kind of show you how it compares to the 2003 series, if you have them like on your shelf together or something like that, they don't really have um, matching design language or anything. Um, they are in kind of similar cases here. But this is what they look like on here. I kind of wish that they had kind of duplicated the design language for both. So that when you have them on a shelf beside each other, like put the logos in the same spot with the same orientation, put the you know character image in the same spot, make the Nickelodeon logo the same and all that. But as you can see, they didn't really do that. Um, they're totally different um, style-wise, which is fine. You know, it switches it up a little bit. But I'm kind of just a person who sort of likes when there's multiple series or multiple volumes of something I really like when like all the spines line up and they match and I just think that's cool I think that is like sort of a above and beyond level of detail so didn't really do that here but that's okay and these are sort of how the backs kind of look compared to each other so yeah um I just wanted to kind of show you what's in here uh there's a lot of sort of turtles stuff coming out recently because of the new um Seth Rogen Turtles movie that's coming out this summer. So they're sort of ramping up the Ninja Turtle verse um, in that they're releasing a lot more um, DVDs, comics, uh, toys, that kind of stuff, sort of to ramp up for the Turtles movie. Um, they're, thankfully, they're going back into the catalog and they're making sure to put out full series collections of stuff like this and this. Um, you can also get the original 80s series in a very similar form factor as well. So if you're looking to build out your Ninja Turtle collection, 
uh, this is a great option. This is probably the best option. So I just wanted to kind of show you in case you were curious. So um, thanks for requesting this unboxing. Here you go. Hope you like it. Um, if you collect DVDs, Blu-rays, anything like that, if you're a physical media kind of person, or if you just collect turtle stuff, sci-fi, comics, anything like that, go ahead and check out my channel. Um, hit the thumbs up button down below. That would really help. And hit subscribe. So that way you don't miss any of my future content. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.